Why, good morning everybody. Today is a beautiful day in Melbourne. The sun's out and everything is good. Today I'm just going to talk to you about what teas I've been using at the moment. I've to, at the moment I'm only doing one batch of kombucha with the scooby I grew from Coconut Nectar. And I'm just using this vanilla chai brand. This is a really good brand and it's sold in the UK, but I managed to find it in Melbourne at the cruelty free shop in Fitzroy and it's a really beautiful tasting tea and it's a really beautiful brand. And I use about five tea bags to three liters of this and two English breakfast teas to go as well. So it has a little bit of black tea in it. You can mix and match your you know, your chai with your black tea. If you don't like English breakfast, you can use Earl Grey. If you don't like Earl Grey, you can use Rooibos. It's all up to you and depending on what you like. So English breakfast, Earl Grey or Rooibos or any other black tea that you like. I use two tea bags to five um, chai to three liters and that works out really nice. And in the second ferment, I'm just going to add a bit of uh, a few dates and it will turn out beautiful, like a fizzy chai tea. And it's quite amazing. And I've gone back to using uh, coconut nectar in my kombucha making because I found it's at the market and it's a reasonable price. This jar is... $8.40 and that is a reasonable price for coconut nectar in New Zealand it's, they sold coconut nectar but it was $14 and this is $8.40 for the same amount so I'm really happy to go back using coconut nectar and I use about 8% so it's a liquid sugar so you brew the tea first add the 8% the sh uh, sugar to tea and then you add it to uh, the batch and this is my scoobies at the moment and yeah I learnt this technique when I worked at Vantra in London and I think it's called Vito London now what's next just just the symbol just the symbol of V V for vegan V for victory anyway um yeah that's how I do it so you just add uh, eight percent, which is yeah, it's quick, simple, and easy to do. You just add the tea and then mix it in. And what sugars do you use? Um, please leave in the comments below. I prefer coconut nectar. Uh, that's the way I was taught. I've seen people use all different types of sugar, maple syrup. Pure maple syrup, not the processed stuff, and thanks for watching, and I would recommend giving chai tea a try, and also, because I'm in a warmer climate, my brew time has gone down to a week, even though it's supposed to be winter, because it feels like summer, and thanks for watching.